Okay, so unit three, uh, day three B, we're going to continue on with logarithms, but now we're going to talk about uh, their graphs and how to graph them. So the, the learning target is I can identify the log function as the inverse of an exponential, and I can convert from log to exponential form back and forth, and also I should add in there I can graph. I forgot to put in there, I need to be able to graph that. So first off, just a quick little warm-up, try these out. Uh, maybe pause the video and try these out. See if you can answer these on your own. Um, and now I'll, I'll come back um, in a moment with the answers. Okay, so here are the answers. So check those out. See how you did. Um, down below here, uh, we have the uh, fill in the blanks. So the logarithm is the inverse of the exponential function. And we... We can use this for graphing. Um, we can also use this um, for solving too. Eventually, we're going to get some uh, logarithmic um, equations we have to solve, and we're going to use exponents to solve them, or we have some exponential uh, equations, and we'll have to use logarithms to solve them. So, first off, we want to think about this right here. We want to graph y equals log base 2 of x. Uh, probably the easiest way to do a logarithm is instead of plugging in for x, we want to plug in for y. Okay, and I also will convert this into an exponential first. So if I convert this to an exponential, this would be 2 to the y equals x. So fill out the y column first. So 2 to the first power is 2, 2 to the 0 power is 1, and then 2 to the negative 1 power is actually 1 over 2 to the first, which is a half. Okay, and if you plot these points, uh, let's see, so we'll go 2, 1, here's um, 1, 0, and then one half negative one. Kind of see this curve going right here. And if I keep plugging in um, different y's here, I can plug in bigger and bigger negative y's. My x's will still not be negative. So if I if I plugged in a really small, a really small y, like say negative one hundred. Well, two to the negative one hundred is the same thing as one over two to the one hundred, which is still positive. So even if I'm way down off the graph, I'm still in the positive area. So I, I can't, I can never get to the negative. So none of this is in the domain of a logarithm unless you have a shift left. Okay. So it's going to come up along here. It kind of shoots off to the right this way. And if you remember, um, this is again it's the same thing as two to the y equals x. Well, if I do two, if y equals two to the x, or we switch to this is exponential. It's going to cross right here and kind of do this number. If you remember right, exponent, or uh, I'm sorry, inverses reflect across this y equals x line. So this is just a reflection across that line. Okay, my video froze. Okay, so this is a reflection across that line. Okay, so, so that's, what, that's how we know these are inverses. So we'll go to this one, and this is log base 2 of x equals y. What is the domain? Well, the domain is 0, but not including 0, because you never get 0 for an x. I can never take 2 to a power and get nothing. So 0 is not included, but it does go off to infinity mm -hmm. this way. Um, the asymptotes, for this guy right here, there is an asymptote going up and down. So x equals 0 asymptote. Um, this does go up up into the right forever, so there is no, it's not bounded above or anything like that. It does keep going up forever. Uh, the range on this guy then, so think up and down. This one can go down forever and it can go up forever. So this is negative infinity to infinity. Okay, you can plug anything in for y. You know, I, I, could, I could take 2 to any power I want, so anything can be plugged in for y. Now the special point that we're going to give you here um, is... We, we say the special point is 1, 0. So 1, 0, right there is that special point that most logarithms go through. If it's, if it's a parent logarithm, and we say parent logarithm is, it looks like this, and you can change that number to anything you want. The base, no matter what the base is, it's going to go through that point, unless you shift it up, down, left, right, or anything like that. But even if you, uh, if you vertically um, uh, stretch or shrink, or any, any sort of stretch or shrink is still going to go through that point unless you put a plus on the end or put a plus with the x or a plus on the end. So then, and the reason why 
anything, so any base to the y power equals x, well, if I plug 0 in for y, anything to the 0 power is 1. So when you plug in 1 for x, you get 0 for y. 1 for x, 0 for y. Um, this function, this logarithmic function, is strictly increasing. A logarithm always increases. As you go to the right, it's going up. Okay? And the end behavior on this, the limit of this function, as x approaches infinity, I'm going to say, because I, I can't say negative infinity because it doesn't go beyond 0. So we're not really worried about negative infinity. I can say as it approaches 0. You know, but as I approach infinity, I'm gonna, my, um, my function itself also approaches infinity. So the y's approach infinity. And I'll put in parentheses here the limit as x approaches 0. Um, f of x would equal negative infinity, but that's not really an end behavior because we're approaching zero, not negative infinity. It doesn't approach negative infinity because I can't plug negative numbers in. So let's go to the back side here. Okay. Okay, so this first guy here, um, recall the translation rules. So all the translation rules we've ever used, I've got a plus two with the x. That means left two units. So when I did have a vertical asymptote at x equals 0, and now it's going to be over here. So everything gets shifted left two units. That special point was at 1, 0. Now it's going to be here. And just a quick sketch of this is going to look something like that. Okay, not perfect. I didn't get all the perfect points, but I got that one point. I got the, the asymptote right. Um, this guy here, it has a minus 1 with the x. That's right. 1, and they got a plus 3 on the end, that's up 3. Okay, so my vertical asymptote was here at x equals 0, now it's going to be right 1. Now if I shift the asymptote up, you won't notice a difference, so that doesn't change anything. But my special point was here, it's going to go right, and then up 3. So I'm going to go up through it, and shoot off to the right. Like that. Okay, then this uh, third one in here, this third example, again, right 2, I'm sorry, right 1, up 3, but I've got this vertical stretch by a factor of 2. But I told you that vertical stretch does not affect that special point. Okay, so that first point we're going to put down, now will affect the next point after that, but that special point is not going to get affected. So I'm still going to go... Uh, my vertical asymptote goes right 1, my special point goes right 1 up 3, still there. Um, and that one doesn't change, but the next point, so if you remember uh, over here, from the special point you went up 1 right 1 when it was a 2, you went up 1 right 1 because um, when you, um, because when you square it, or when you take it to the first power, it's 1, 0 power, so it's going to be up one right one. Well, on the back side, instead of being up one right one, it's going to be up two right one because it's a vertical stretch. You got pushed up one unit, so it's going to be stretched out this way. Everything's doubled. So instead of shooting off faster to the right, it's going to go up, kind of a slower pace going up to the right. That's what a vertical stretch is going to do. But this was kind of the baseline, I guess, if you will, because that's the zero. So that because even if you double zero. It doesn't change. You know, when you take 2 times 0, it's still 0, so this doesn't go up or down. Um, the next one here, so natural logs. A little bit harder because it's hard to graph a natural log. Um, these are easy because base 2, I could find the numbers in my head, you know, take 2 to certain powers and find it. But with natural logs, you have to use your calculator. So make an xy table um, for this original. So this is the exponential. This is the exponential using, you know, x's in the exponent. So um, we'll just fill these in real quick. Once you pause and fill that out with a calculator, so you find those answers. And hopefully you notice that special point showed up again, 0 comma 1. Um, or yeah, it's going to be 1 comma 0 when we go over here to graph the logarithm, but that, that point goes together again um, because it doesn't matter what the base is. It doesn't matter. Now over here, we're going to switch everything. So because we switched the x and the y, we switched these x and y's. So this would be negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. And this is going to be 0 0.135, 0 0.368, 1, 0. There's our special point, 2.72. 
7.39, okay? So actually I skipped a step four there, didn't I? Should have done step two first, but so let's go through and plot these points on the graph down here. So um, the exponential is gonna be negative two, about a tenth of the way up, a little bit more. Negative one, about a third of the way up. Zero, one, one, 2.72, and then three is gonna be off the graph. So here's my exponential. Y equals e to the x. Now, let's plot the points, write the inverse function by interchanging, we did that. Now I'll plot these new points. So if I plot these new points, I'm gonna go over about a tenth and down two, go over about a third, down one, over one, zero, there's my special point. That's like all logarithms, unless they have a vertical or horizontal uh, translation. Um, 2.72 up one, and then the other one's gonna be off the graph. So this one comes up this way. If you notice, still a reflection about that line. Okay, so these are still inverses. So draw the y equals x line. Notice the two functions reflect. So here's y over x. So it doesn't matter what the base is. If you have the, if you use the same base both ways, again, this is um, log base two um, of x equals y, which is the same thing as two to the y equals x, which is the inverse of, I'm sorry, not two, e, e, which is a, let's say natural log. I'm losing it here, I'm losing my mind. That's natural log. I guess you saw the process why it's natural log now. Um, but anyway, so there you go. Have fun graphing.